Hey, 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 how's it going? Do it yourselfers. So we're back once more, and today, as promised, we're gonna talk about your toe angle. We're gonna talk about what it is, how it's measured, and how it's adjusted, but also go over how you might wanna set up for city driving versus driving on the track. All right, so what is toe on your vehicle? Toe is basically the direction which your wheels are pointed at in relation to the center of your vehicle when viewed from above. So for example, this wheel right now is towed in and now is towed out. Another way to think of it, like the name suggests, just from above, look at your toes. If your toes are pointed in, that would be towed in, pointed out, towed out. Pointed in would give you positive toe, pointed out, give you negative toe. All right, so what is better? Do you want your wheels towed in or towed out? So first, let's talk about the benefits of having them towed in. And I'm gonna be obviously exaggerating just to make a point. You know, your toe in amount on your wheels is not gonna be this much, but let's say, what are the benefits of them having being towed in? So the main benefit of having your wheels slightly towed in is going to be stability. As you're accelerating, having your wheels slightly towed in, uh, for one, they might even out and be parallel to one another, giving you great stability in a straight line. But also even if they don't completely even out and become parallel, that little bit of toe in has a centering effect while on your steering because you know they wanna push towards one another, allowing you to go in a straight line a lot stabler than having them towed out. When they're towed out, they wanna to pull to one side or the other, and once you hit a small pothole or any little bump, that one side is gonna to wanna to pull to that side, take the other side with it, and you're gonna start wandering around. And since that's what most people do with their car, which is get in it, get on the freeway, and drive really fast in a straight line, you wanna have slight toe in. Now on the other hand, having your wheels towed in slightly is going to make going around corners just a little bit more difficult. It's gonna require a bit more steering effort and your steering response is also gonna be delayed obviously because again, them being pointed in has a centering effect on your driving. They wanna keep your car going in a straight line and you're trying to make a right turn. So the response is gonna be a little bit delayed. It's gonna require a bit more effort. And as you would guess, having them towed out to begin with slightly will make going into turns easier because let's say we're making a left turn in this case and we have our wheels set to some toe out. We will go a lot easier into this left turn because the inner wheel has a lot shorter radius than the outer wheel. And this, since it's already towed out into that corner, will pull the rest of the car into that corner. All right, so how do you want it set up? Basically, again, out of the factory, both the front and the rear come with some toe in to give you some stability, going fast in a straight line. But if you're gonna be taking your car out to the track and the, you know, whatever, the track is you know, really windy and you like going really fast around corners, then obviously you might wanna consider having some toe out, a little bit of toe out in the front. But again, you gotta keep in mind, you need to be a really experienced driver because having some toe out in the front Going at high speeds, being unstable at those speeds is very obviously very dangerous. So you wanna keep that in mind. Also in the rear, you really wanna be careful with having toe out because having toe out in the rear can make your car really unstable around corners. You can oversteer, fishtail out of control, all that fun stuff. But I've heard that some cars, some front wheel drive vehicles that have understeering issues around corners do put some uh, or a little bit of negative toe in the rear to help with understeering around corners. So you wanna keep that in mind, but generally speaking, you don't wanna put you know, toe out in the rear, just a little bit up front if you're gonna be taking out your car to the track and you're a very experienced driver. All right, next let me show how toe is adjusted on your car. All right, so basically your toe adjustments is made by the way of your inner and outer tie rods. It's gonna be easy to show you since I've already got them apart. Your inner tie rod is connected to your steering rack and pinion and your outer tie rod will screw into that on one end, the other end, it will go into your steering knuckle like this. Now, if you wanted to adjust this, see how it's threaded on this inner tie rod where it goes through the outer tie rod? Once you screw that in, on this end, it's a ball joint on the, on the inside of this inner tie rod. So that ball joint will simply twist in place. The distance for that doesn't go in or out. But since this is threaded, it will go in and out inside of your outer tie rod. So you would screw this in, you would turn this and screw this in, shortening this distance, giving you negative toe, or you could twist that out, unscrew that, 
and increasing the distance here, giving you positive toe here. All right, so generally speaking, tie rods are the way to adjust toe, and they're usually only adjustable up front. But on this 93 Honda Prelude, they're also adjustable in the rear, and not by the way of tie rods, but rather by the way of this eccentric bolt that's gonna be hard to show you guys, but I did try to show you in the last video on how a camera works, but basically that eccentric bolt, once you loosen the nut that's on the, on the other end of it and you start turning that, will push out this arm, which will in turn push out here on this knuckle, will push it out for positive toe, or you could unscrew it the other way and you know pull this in for having negative toe. All right, so next I'm gonna finish installing the outer tie rod on this car, but then in the next video, I'm gonna show you a DIY procedure on how to adjust the toe on both the front and the rear wheels of any car. It's gonna be a pretty good one, pretty accurate in my opinion, and it hasn't been shown before, at least not that I can find on YouTube. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that one. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell notification. Also consider checking out my other videos, links on this side of the screen, in the description box, down below in the description box as well. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.